Good morning, everyone, on this beautiful, hot Thursday. Um, yeah, we're still in the heat wave here in Michigan in the 90s. Unbearable. But it's a cold front is supposed to move in and go down to like 80. <laughs> so, anyways, I hope you all are doing good. And today, I thought I'd bring you a simple DIY on how to make a pumpkin. They're really super cute, guys. And I brought in one of my wreath racks <clears throat> because you need this up. It's hard to, for it to be laying down and, and to actually show this particular video. Um, so what you're gonna need is a 21 inch roll of yellow mesh, some raffia, um, if you wanted to use orange deco mesh tubing, I got some floral picks, I got some leaves, and you're going to need a glue gun and a bow, which I've already pre-made my bow. Okay, now I have to get my floral pins. Sorry, guys. If you guys know what um, don't know what floral pins are, or they call them U pins or greening pins, they're these things. I guess they're kind of shaped like a U. Everybody sells them, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, you know, what have you. So you're going to need that. So we're going to begin, and I'm going to open my mesh, okay, and I hope you guys don't think my music's too loud. I'm playing a Jeff Lynn concert. I just love him. Okay, so what you're going to do. Oh, we don't want to tilt that down. Okay, so I'm just going to drop my mesh to the floor, guys. Okay, so what you're going to do is just squeeze a bunch at the top. And you're going to take one of your floral pins or U pins and you're going to put it in at the top. Okay, so that's kind of going to be a stem, whatever. So now you're just going to gather your mesh and you want to cover the sides. Okay. So I'm just going to come down to about here, and I'm going to put in another floral pin. This is a straw wreath, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. This is a 16-inch straw wreath. It does come covered in plastic. Do not remove the plastic, because you'll have straw everywhere. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to go back up as close as I can. Well, we want to cover this densely. So I'm going to go back up. You can pull it tighter, too. You know, you don't have to have it loose. You can pull it tighter. And just put in your floral pin. Okay, I'm going to put in another one up here at the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is come back down into where I was the last time. I'm just going to insert this floral pin about an inch over from where the last one was and push it in. Okay, <clears throat> take a bunch. You're just like making a big loop, okay? And you're going to put this floral pin in there. Sometimes I will put two in, especially at the top. And just push it down in there. Oh, my God. 
mesh turned. Okay. So then again, get your mesh and just come on down. Again, about an inch over, you are going to put your floral pin. It's not really hard to get in, guys. It's my hands. They're just so sore and so weak. Okay. Okay. Now, same thing. You're making a loop, and I'm going to come back up here closest to the center. And I'm going to put my U pin in. And we're going to put two U pins in at the top. It's not going to matter because we're going to add stuff to the top. So we're going to come back down and we're going to put in another U-pin. That one isn't sticking. I don't know why. Okay. Back up again. Towards the top, okay, towards your center. And push that down. Okay. So now we're going to bring this back out to your center. Well, Tino... Come here, baby. You want to say hi? Do you want to say hi to our viewers? I don't know. I'm going to put one more here. One more at the top to cover that side. And... And then I'm just going to cut off. Do you want to say hi to everyone, Tino? Okay, so just get this and just cut it. And this can still be like part of your stem. Yeah, but I'm short, believe it or not. Okay. Push this over. Okay. Now, deco mesh, don't be afraid to mess with it. It's very forgiving. Okay. Um, so, if you think you need to tighten it, I'm going to tighten it right here a little bit. And right here. Okay, and look at the cute pumpkin shape we have already. Okay, so don't be afraid to move this. And I'm going to put some stuff over here. So there is your cute pumpkin. You want to say hi? Come here, baby. Oh, he's going to growl at mama. Say hi, viewers. Say hi, I'm Valentino. Say I'm a mama boy. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, growl. Okay. Nico, you want to say hi? Come here, Nick. Come here, Nick. You want to say hi? Come here, baby. This is Nico. He's my baby, too. He, him and Tino are brothers. And I have the mother and the father. Okay, back to work. You guys said hi. Thank you my babies okay guys so next thing I already pre-made a bow and I'm gonna go up here you know what guys I thought of something else mm -hmm. 
Excuse me. I thought of something else I want to do. That's the beauty of crafting. Things come to you. Oh, I wanted the shorter brain. That's going to be too big. Excuse me, guys. I'm looking for some... do with this is add some greenery to the top. I'm just going to cut this wrinkled part off and then you want to see how long. Okay, that looks good there. And I'm going to cut about three of these. They can be all different sizes. They don't have to be the same size. See, this is the, with, with crafting. I'll have an idea, and then something else hits me when I'm doing it. So, let's see how this is going to look. I don't even know if I like it, guys. So, we're going to find out. So you, you want to take your 10 inch mesh and you're going to pull it corner to corner and grab it in the middle and it kind of gives you that leafy look. Oh, good gravy. that one and one more this mesh loves to stick to itself okay so I'm gonna stick these in the top and see how we like them he's gonna be a wild looking pumpkin I'll tell you that Now the bow, I just put a Chanel stem on it, okay, on the back, it was, that was the easiest. But I'm going to take my bow, and I'm going to attach it, just using the greening pins, okay, easy peasy guys. Mess up your loops. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about that little shreds. We're going to cut that off. So now I have floral pick. So I'm going to bend this in half. And you can put this floral pick somewhere right inside your bow if you wanted to. Um, and I'm going to cut this with my wire cutters. Well, here they are. And just see where you want to stick it, wherever you think it looks good. I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to use my glue gun. Sorry if you can't see it. And I'm just going to stick that in there near the bow. Look how cute that is, guys. I think it's adorable. And... 
And I'm gonna put another one right there. curl these ribbons up. I like to use a tool, but let me see if we want to add any leaves. And I am going to add some of these big leaves. Okay, and I don't want to get burned, so of that. Uh, get up there for it. Ouch! I knew it, guys. I bought the glue finger things, and I haven't put them on yet. Does that make sense to you? Okay. I'm going to put a leaf there, and this one's a little long. Let's see where we want this one. It's magic. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave that alone. No, I showed you the raffia. Raffia, I think, always gives a cute touch. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to put the raffia. Oh, I think I'm going to put the raffia over here. Get it up there. All I did was took a bunch and made a little um, knot in it. What do you think, guys? What do you think it needs something else? I'm thinking, I don't know. I think he's kind of cute as he is. You could put more raffia on the other side. I don't know that I have any more green raffia. Let's see what it looks like with some, oh, or, you know what, I got a piece of orange deco mesh tubing. And maybe I will just make a loopy, little loopy bow with it. Just make a little loopy bow. actually unless I find some more green raffia then I'll stick a little piece over here and I want to roll those up okay what do I got sorry guys didn't mean to step away I'll just use this paintbrush and this is what you can do to the leaf Okay, and you can just curl them up. And those two I'll leave like that. And there is our cute little pumpkin, guys. What do you think? Can you see it good? He's cute. Right? 
so guys it's what you can do to this is unlimited i might stick a flower in there too i have to see if i'm gonna like a flower in there yeah you can put an orange one in too and there you have a cute little pumpkin and I think that took like 20 minutes to put that together. So I hope you enjoy today's little pumpkin. And there's so many other ways you can make a pumpkin. And I will do some more DIYs on pumpkins. But if you like this pumpkin, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a very blessed Thursday. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my day. I've cleaned yesterday. So I don't know if I'll go shopping or just chill. Um, so until the next DIY, God bless each and every one of you. I love you all. Even my viewers, my subscribers, thank you for staying with me on my new channel. And until the next DIY. Ciao.